welcome back. Top eight time here in Vienna, Spielraum. We change our surrounding a little bit here. Yeah, very nice. It's not the invitational. <laughs> it's there's uh, no like fancy stuff be going on behind us. No but trophy. Yeah, but this is the top eight of the mythic championship qualifier here in Vienna. 226 players, a full house down down the road in a in a really uh, really nice hall. But we've moved here to the store to finish our top eight, and we're going to have. Uh, yeah, the top eight. Starting with the number one seed, Patrick yep. Smatana. He's going to play against the Nicola Palmieri. And we already had the players get ready. Actually, the top eight has already started. We didn't want to drag it on until we start uh, with everything, have the stream ready, and so on. So yeah, it's, it's been a long day, not only for us, but also for the players. Exactly. So just a quick recap for those of you who did not come from my Twitter. Uh, <laughs> the top eight is uh, two times Esper Super Friends, two Jeskai Super Friends, uh, one... Uh, Four like called Dread Horde. Four called Dread Horde. One Gruel, one John Death Roller, and one uh, White Weenie Aggro with blue. blue. So a little bit of blue there, uh, just as a, as a hint. And they're already playing, except the match that we're gonna just show you right now. Okay, let's jump in right into the action. I think. Uh yeah, it uh, it feels still players are still shuffling, but for those of you uh, who who uh, are not familiar, who haven't been here, Patrick Smetan, we featured him uh, at least uh, a little bit here uh, before. Uh, so he's in at the going in as the first seed. He was 6-0 before losing, but then winning his last round, his tiebreakers were the best. He's on Esper Super Friends. He really didn't feel confident going to the last round, and he feels n very not confident this round as well. He he thinks that the uh, Gruel is a ter terrible matchup for him, whereas he it seems like all, almost all the other decks in the top eight he feels like he should he should perform against pretty well. Okay, so this is like his nightmare matchup right there. Yes, that's if what he thinks. Okay. But that's what he thought about playing Mono Red Aggro in the, in the <laughs> run before, and he said he managed to ultimate uh, Teferi on turn six wow. against Mono Red. So, <laughs> so <laughs> Quite anything nice can there. happen. And uh, one good advantage for Patrick uh, on the left here as he's mulliganing to six is the I fact that... I think it's already five, though. Five, wow. All right, he's on the, he's on the play, though, uh, because he, he was first seed, and he uh, sneaked in as the eighth seed with the, with the draw in the, in the last round. Uh, it worked out fine. The cut was pretty clear cut with mm -hmm. the tiebreakers. But now more getting down to five. If you're, if what you're saying is true, is he's not in great shape, or, or and already he didn't feel very confident going in. Yeah, um, Nicola is a regular player. He's actually we're running um, uh, kind of ladder where you uh, earn points by playing, and he's currently in the lead with oh, I think a really? uh, thousand four hundred points and the lead of five hundred points. So. Sick. Just to get like uh, an image of him, he's uh, playing probably every week. I think uh, there's not an FNM I haven't seen that. So mm -hmm, yeah, I mean, he said he's. Uh, I asked him if he's Italian. He said, yeah, he's Italian, but he's living in Vienna. Now what you're saying kind of makes sense that he yep. he makes his way down here and. Eh? There we go, right into the match. Drown Catacomb tapped uh, tapped on the first turn is not a good sign. It probably means there's, there's no, there's no, no second, second land. land. Yeah, and his hand. Does have Thought Erasion, Dovenbahn, a uh, moment of craving as well. No green mana for Nicola, though. Mm -hmm. I've seen expensive cards in his hand. And ah, but he does have a forest, though. So here comes the cavalry. Gruul Spellbreaker with a counter. And uh, I already feel this game's over. Hasn't even properly started. Mm, second but land, but might be too late already. Yeah, I mean, he, c he might want to play it untapped to Thought Erasure and hope to uh, hit another land, to maybe play the Dovin just to start preventing some damage. But he's going to have to hope that Nicola's hand is not very good. But I, s I see another mountain and Nicola and plenty of spells, so... Yeah, we can... Yeah, good look at this end. Oh, wow, a lot of spells here. Gee, that's a brutal... I, I now see why Patrick thinks this is not a great matchup. Skargon Hellkite, Chandra, uh, Goblin Chain Waller, as well as Growth Chamber Guardian, and a Lightning Strike. I mean, the Lightning Strike is definitely not going to get discarded here, but Nicola can untap into uh, either the Chandra, if it doesn't get discarded, or... He might even play uh, the Chain Waller. This is really, really rough for Patrick. Yeah, a lot of great cards. And as we talked so much today, um, Haste being very relevant. Mm -hmm. And especially, again, in this matchup with the Planeswalkers, it will be interesting to see um, what Patrick goes for here. Of course, Lightning Strike, the Lesser Evil mm -hmm. in this hand. Chandra, of course. And uh, there's already a Hellkite waiting in the wings if yeah. Nicola happens to find Chandra is going to hit the bin, makes sense. And then Surveil. <laughs> it's it a land. It's a land that <laughs> stays on sure top. sure a land. All right. This is the turn. Nicola finds another land, so Hellkite next turn. Yeah, the turn after is definitely going to come come down. And now maybe just uh, a Chain Waller. 
uh, he might play mountain to just disguise the fact that he drew uh, the land, the root bound crag. Yeah, should go for the f should go for the mountain. Yeah, there it is. Nice chain ruler. Take one mm. more. What's nice for a change, Nicolo is uh, very good at handling uh, the <laughs> phone and the life uh, points. <laughs> yes, <laughs> he sometimes plays with the app himself, so he knows how to change them. <laughs> okay, fair <laughs> enough. Yeah, we've we've had some players uh, struggle with it big time, so I'm happy that uh, that some players <laughs> know how to use it. I mean, there's no time limit in top eight, so uh, players have as much time as they need. Of course, they shouldn't be playing slowly. As and always, our head judge Christian Gavrilovic. Uh, told everyone that they're expected to play at a reasonable pace. So, so what are we going to see here? Patrick is interesting in slowing this game down, though. Let's <laughs> see if... Dovin or Teferi, what's yeah, his Yeah, or Narset. Uh, but I think he's going to start with Teferi and maybe hope to bounce this Guru spell Spellbreaker. He's okay, he's going to go for Dovin. But he knows about the Hellkite uh, that's coming. He's mm. probably hoping that Nico is not going to draw the fifth land. But he's not drawing the fifth land. He's drawing something else here, so... Wow. <laughs> He's wow, playing Sarkin main. This is brutal. Jeez. Two Sarkin, uh, the Masterless, in the main deck. He also runs two Domri's, two Chandra's, and a Domri Chaos Bringer. Wow, nice. Spicy. All right. Okay, and actually goes for the Sarkin. <laughs> and Patrick's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Why? I've, I've expected a five drop, but not this one. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he's and he knows that that Nikola still also has the the, the Skargan Hellkite. Hellkite yeah. So he probably was like, he's going to the attack step, yeah. side of relief, then fifth land. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. This game's not going to take long, but that's what happens sometimes when the control deck mulligans to five. Uh, there's the Fairy Time Reveler hoping to bounce the dragon and soak up some damage, uh, at least a water there is drink. Another land. I think one good card that he could have it's Kaya's Wrath. Mm -hmm. <laughs> still something that he could draw. And at least try to stabilize, but with the uh, with the big hit coming in right now, it's uh, not not looking great for for uh, Patrick, especially with the Scargon Hellkite still. And I think this, if Patrick does not uh, use the Dovin, I think it's lethal. It it just should be, uh, yeah, way way too much damage. Eleven, yeah, fourteen, yeah. fifteen actually. So he has to probably use the Dovin Bond. Just thinking, sorry, the Dovin Hand of Control. <laughs> Quick consideration: Is there any difference in uh, between Sarkin and Spellbreaker? No. Okay. Not really. Goes for the Spellbreaker. He's he probably hoping that that maybe Nicola will not notice, uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm sure he'll find some attack shock, oh, shock as well. Yeah, lightning strike. There's so much burn to finish. Uh, yeah. He even the even the Rath. And Nico Nicola had like perfect combination of like uh, pressure and follow up spells in this game. So we're gonna see the Hellkite. Yeah, plus the Sarkhan. Yeah, face. <laughs> HU, <laughs> 11. Yeah, 11 damage. This deck is not worrying about little Teferi. <laughs> Certainly not. Even though uh, instant speed Kaya's Wrath is nice, but he doesn't have the Wrath. <sighs> uh, just the land. Yeah. I think he can, he can pack it yeah. up. I'm gonna go. Ha I'm gonna go to game two here. Unfortunate. As, you, as uh, Patrick predicted, this is not a great matchup. He he'll get to go uh, uh, get get to play first again, uh, but we'll see. Hopefully with a grip of seven this time. Yeah. We do want to see some magic. Oh, um, Patrick already stole my deck list. <laughs> again. Th thank you <laughs> for bringing it back. You shouldn't give Patrick some sheets. Yeah, Just that's hold true. on to them. So his the sideboard for for Patrick. Uh, what can he do in this matchup to improve it? He has to enter the God Eternals. Uh, mm -hmm. That might improve things. Moment of craving feels <laughs> like very hit and miss. Awkward. Kind of awkward, right? It's only good against the Growth Chamber Guardian, uh, but it's really good against it. Uh, but uh, all the other creatures, uh, Crow Harpooner is only a two of and might even be Cyborg. Yeah, probably so Cyborg, that, right? I mean, uh, if Legion War was, uh, makes a show and then he could probably use it against those, but still. Mm, sure. He's probably, uh, he has, uh, what else does he have here? He has Entry to God Eternals, two of mm -hmm. them. He's definitely going to gonna board those in. I mean, after seeing Sarkhan, he might think about Sorcerer's Spyglass. Or uh, maybe bring in a, another Elder spell, but Cry of the Carnarian looks very poor. Ixalan's Binding looks great. Mm -hmm. uh, I I assume there's only Vivian Reed as enchantment removal. Yeah, there's status statue as well, but I don't think he might. No, that's bring not in. a card you want to sideboard in. Of course, Vivian Reed will um, 
be in, in uh, Nicholas' deck after boarding. Mm -hmm. And uh, Legion Warpers, I mentioned already. And maybe Tibble. Maybe well. Tibble to fight the life gain. Yeah, he can yeah. Bo even probably board out the, the shocks and maybe some of the creatures. Crow Opponents, I like that it's a, at least three power, but it's probably better than Thornal Ten, which just seems kind of underwhelming. Yeah, if he gets to the point where he can uh, activate the ability, mm -hmm. well, yeah, doesn't seem too great. Lava Coils, not yeah. good either. Yeah, I mean, it looks like uh, the Nicola Palmieri deck just looks like uh, it has decent late game as well. It can match up pretty nicely against these deck, and while it looks like Patrick's main deck already kind of ready with uh, with uh, four Kaya's Wrath, mm -hmm. uh, he needs to draw one. Also has three oaths, which is nice. So he has removal in his hand in his deck. He just has to draw it and uh, kind of curve out with uh, discard removal and then start to, start to slam his uh, planeswalkers. And even then, might it might not be enough. Yeah, I think uh, Nicholas' deck is very well set up. He has a lot of recursive threats. He has Rekindling Phoenix. Um, he has, of course, the Growth Chamber Guardians that provide a bit of card advantage because they can fetch each other up. Um, and, as we said a lot of times today, a lot of haste creatures and planeswalkers himself. So, players are getting ready. Patrick is doing another power shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to go down to five again. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty unlucky. He, he I mean, he said he got pretty lucky at, at some, in some points. Like, remember watching him when he drew the, the isolated chapel? Yeah, and untapped. He, uh, yeah, <laughs> his, uh, in one of the previous rounds, if you weren't around, his opponent went turn two, Hero of Precinct one, and turn three, uh, he had the decision of keeping up Dovin's Veto, playing a Thief of Sanity, playing another Hero of Precinct one. His opponent actually played the Thief of Sanity, and Patrick with only one white source and no other lands. He drew isolated ch at Chapel of the top to play the Kaya's Wrath to, to huge swing right yeah, there. To, yeah, to kill everything and and uh, recover from that. It, even then, the the game was on a knife's edge until the end because he was on two life and was dead to any of the two Oath of Kaya that his opponent mm -hmm. had in his deck. Uh, but th he dodged all of them and and then firmly took over the game. Yeah, very interesting games we've seen today. Um, I've actually talked with a few top eight players, and they all had one or the other story where they got kind of lucky. Yeah, of course, course. over eight rounds. Yeah, I you mean, you do need some kind of luck on your yeah. side. There were so many. Day. There are so many good players here in the uh, in the room that it it's just like really, uh, it's really difficult to like. You have to have some bit of luck to um, just to get this far. It's it's part of. Uh, it's part of the game. Yeah, it's uh, you can't win all, win all the time. You can do all you can to maximize. Uh, let's see how how Patrick uh, maximizes his draw here. No Mulligans this time around. Turn one, Howl found his uh, turn to drunk catacombs. Also, has Oath of Kaya. Kaya. Might be a very important thing. Sorcerer Spyglass. I Interesting. I think I see a moment of craving. He's probably deciding. Yep. Okay, well he's gonna wait a uh, wait a little bit. He's gonna give his opponent one more draw step to draw something. He knows that there's no planeswalker that's gonna come down. Okay, he chain guardian. That's gonna get moment of craving. This is the scenario we talked about. Moment of craving, great against uh, the the growth chain guardian. And we oh Kaya's red wow. too. So are we gonna see the the spyglass? But maybe Teferi. It's, it's not that great against the Gruul deck. Mm -hmm. Just you can't just run it out randomly. Uh, but it's still fine here, just because uh, Nicole can. At best, play a Gruul Spellbreaker and t bring it down to three. Nicola uh, with two. no play on turn three and Chandra in hand. So if Patrick now resolves Sorcerer's Spyglass, that could be huge for him. Yeah. How many cards do you have? Plenty, says uh, Nicola Palmieri. And apparently plenty of lands. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So the one of the nice things about the Spyglass is that you can bounce it with your own Teferi if you want. Oh. Ever want to reset it? Of course, that's a nice uh, interaction. So now, ooh, double wow. Chandra, the full wow. blowout Huge. here for He must Huge. be breathing a sigh of relief. Yeah. It's like, what you have two Chandras and four lands? He was like, how many cards in hand? Six. <laughs> and I played this two mana artifact, and now all of a sudden, <laughs> you have only lands. Oh, that's this is huge. a blowout. I love it. It's great. And plus is the Teferi down to uh, up to six. And another land for Nicola. <laughs> That's sick. Of course, deploys the Chandra anyway. Because you can do that. Why not? Yep. No downside. Cannot activate. I mean, still, the static ability still works. So if you were ever to attack uh, Chandra. And yeah. if he uh, plays Sarkhan, can still turn into sure. the dragon. Yeah, I mean, now he's a bit of flooded with Kaya's Rads. He has two. So he would probably like some Planeswalker to... Turn on the pressure like a Narset, like a Teferi, uh, the big one. 
not just not just this one still plusing hoping maybe that he'll find a way to um to use the the Kaya's Wrath at instant speed a very interesting way uh from Nicola to hold the cards in hand he's uh, he put the cards that uh, Patrick saw upside down so um actually mm -hmm. he knows which which card Patrick saw yeah uh, guys, if you if you're in the Twitch chat and want to see deck list, uh, there should be uh, an app running over over the screen that you could be able you should be able to click. If not, refresh the stream; it should pop up. You can browse through all the top eight decks if yep. you're very keen to know uh, mo most. <laughs> okay, those Both two players <laughs> we have, but we might have everyone. But we ha you're gonna have these two players. You can definitely check out uh, our website uh, yep. at Spielraum. We have uh, top eight deck lists there. We've made the game breakdown, pairing standings from all the rounds today. So, m in the meanwhile, Nicola developed the... Okay, instant speed, never mind. Instant speed, Kaya's <laughs> Wrath. Instant rough. speed, Kaya's To protect the Teferi, and now what are we going to see? More lands. I mean, we, we know Nicola has a bunch of lands, but he's going to start drawing spells sometime. And if... Uh, <laughs> Thought Erasure, great. This interaction is so brutal. Yeah, Instant so. speed discard spell. Yeah, that's really great now, especially when he knows that that Nico has so many lands. But I think he just drew another, another one. Land. Wow, his yeah. hand is still only lands. Jeez, wow. I mean, Patrick unlucky with the Mulligan game one, and now not Nico are just drawing all the lands. And I think with Patrick now being able to uh, to surveil, maybe he'll dig himself into Big Teferi yeah. or I mean, any ooh, enter the God wow. Eternals. That's a good one. He's probably gonna want to keep that. Yeah, almost any business spell is going to do it at this point, I think. Mm -hmm. Nicola with 10 lands. Yeah, that's a, that's a good business spell. <laughs> Let's have something <laughs> I might as well. Nicola is thinking, oh, why didn't I put the green uh, final in my deck? <laughs> yeah. Maybe now is uh, Patrick, uh, it's time for him to uh, to draw. Yeah. Yeah. Starts using Elder Spell. Elder Spell. Interesting. Kind of nice. Can get rid of the Ch Chandra, which is not doing anything. <laughs> another <laughs> land. He, he <laughs> really wow. actually drew another land. Oh my this god! This is ridiculous. Eleven lands now for Nicola. Yeah. Uh, Herzer, why is not activating Chandra? There's Sorcerer's Spyglass in yeah. play. That was the name Chandra fired Sun because Nicola had actually two in his hand, so Patrick was very happy to to discard it right away. Okay, uh, Legion, Legion Warboss. But now a bit, maybe a bit too late against the Enter the God Eternal because Teferi has been plus. Yeah. On his Instant turn. Instant speeds. Is of course amazing there. You can even yeah, he even passes. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Anticipating. He probably wants to with so many lands. He probably yeah. wants to uh, overload, right? Yeah. Just like find a way to overload. Yeah. Growth chamber guardians, not bad though. Yeah, with S so much mana. With eleven lands, growth chamber guardian is quite nice. Yep. So that's gonna resolve, and right after that, enter the guard tron is gonna be played. Right, uh, so it's yeah, gonna create a four four, yeah, mill you. Oh wow. it hits a growth chamber guardian, so that's <laughs> this one is huge. Wow. One it's less in uh, in Nicholas deck that's very important. Everything yeah. coming together for Patrick here. Yeah. For a change. Yeah. After the first game with the uh, Mulligan. And there's the the army, the zombie army four four. There's the growth chamber guardian. I think he wants to grow it right away. Yeah. No point in waiting yep. and giving he will. He might get it bounced with the Teferi. Mm. Patrick might be happy to uh, to start working his way um, towards some some more cards. Yeah, does he play it as well? Okay, he's going to decide to play right away. Don't forget to put the two counters on the on one of them. Mm -hmm. There's the dice. Okay, and passes the turn. Let's see, Patrick, of course, now with. Uh, the zombie army has a thought eraser as well. Not a thought eraser. Combo with the uh, combo with the the Teferi. This is such a nice interaction, <laughs> <laughs> and also the reason Wizards doesn't print instant speed discard that much. Yeah. <laughs> they really don't like it. I mean, Pirates of Charm is pretty good, but <laughs> ooh, swing. <Very laughs> aggressive. aggressive. Uh, yeah, but it's probably I smell a, a wrath. Coming. Yeah, instant speed. Kaya's Wrath, probably, right? Yeah, instant speed Kaya's Wrath and then instant speed Thought Erasure. I mean, he could, he could Kaya's Wrath right now, so mm. that uh, there's no mana being used, and then Thought Erasure and, and after the draw step. 
He has, he's still digging for for yeah. something here. Here we go. He even gains himself a life. Woohoo, 27. I think he's not the life still is probably not going to matter as much. He just want if he finds ever finds a big uh a big uh Teferi, this game's going to be over. This card's a crawl harpooner with that instant speed thought erasure uh thanks to the uh Teferi. Yeah, if Nicholas somehow manages to crawl back into this game. It's, it would be amazing. <laughs> but there is no uh, frenzy in his deck, so yeah, these decks don't really run it. All right, uh, more, more lands. lands. Okay, that's fine. Just and a plus. Oh no, minus draw. draw. Oh, oh. set. Finally, some business. Yeah. Now he's a little bit exposed because he doesn't have the instant speed sorceries and he has the wrath uh, in his hand. Ooh, Liliana, oh, Liliana Dovin. Dovin. Yeah, Liliana. Oh, there's the action. That he needed. Yeah, it's good. This game is not going to last for that much longer. Like no. Nicola would have to draw like runner, runner, good cards, and even then, uh, like uh, the best card he can draw now is uh, maybe Skargan Hellkite. Probably. Does he have enough mana to cast it and activate it if he's not tasting it in? <laughs> uh, but there's no no reason he's yeah, to he not chase it in, right? Another land. <laughs> <It's> well, <like> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was two really non games yeah. on both. I mean, the, what Nicola just showed is. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, I believe he drew twelve lands. Twelve lands, yeah, right. In his in his deck, which is uh, has a total of ten, twenty five. Twenty five. Okay, quite, quite a bit. But still, yeah. drew half his <laughs> half his lands in the top like what twenty cards in his library. It's pretty ridiculous. So now we're gonna get a a, a game. Hopefully, a game. <laughs> a game, <laughs> a <three>. game. <laughs> Yeah, Nicola Palmier is gonna uh, is gonna have uh, be on the play. Which is quite important for him if he wants to uh, get out the boards quickly. But this game, I mean, of course, Nicola didn't have anything, but the the one of Sorcerer's Spyglass was huge. It did so much work. I mean, of course, in the end, we saw Patrick had Elder Spell and so on, but at least like Nicola would have been able to turn through mm -hmm. those lands much faster thanks yeah. to the Chandra. And the maybe Spyglass bought him enough time. Yeah, it bought him infinite time, and and he also got information that there's nothing to worry about from Nicola outside of the top of his of of his deck. So. I think this is has to be such a huge relief. If you you ask your opponent how many cards in hand six, then you're like, okay, yeah. what am I in for here? And then, wow. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I, I wonder how the other matches are, are are going on because the players have been playing for a while now. Mm -hmm. uh, that the other matchups included uh, Esper Super Friends against Jeskai Super Friends. Mm -hmm. uh, then there was a matchup between Four Color Dread Horde and against Gru. Gru. The, no, the John Deathwiller. Death oh yeah. And I always mix those up. Yeah, and <laughs> then Jeskai Super Friends against the the white blue aggro uh, from uh, from Fabian Lackner. So that's uh, quite a lot of differing matchups: aggro against control and control on control. This one's kind of more more of the traditional one, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. <laughs> it's definitely. <laughs> Hopefully, a game where both players keep their starting hands and both players get to cast spells. Yeah, and we're going to see a nice decent amount of lands. I mean, I'm I'm a bit biased because Patrick's. Uh, of course. I, I traveled here with hi with him, and we've been chatting a little bit over the last few days. So even Patrick is going to bring us an update from the from the floor. Okay, so Amir Okic already won two to zero mm -hmm. over Fabian Lackner, so he's going to play the winner of this match. So it's going to be Jeskai Super Friends mm -hmm. against the winner of this match. Then uh, Christian Schwarz on 4-Color Dreadhorde already two eliminated wow. Markus Spurg. It's 2-0. and zero. So that's the 4-Color Dreadhorde mm -hmm. over John Deathwiller. And uh, Christian Schwarz on, on, this, on his uh, Dreadhorde deck will play the winner of Ricardo da Silva against Adrian Schrenk. That's one game apiece. That's the Esper against Jeskai Super Friends. Players have drawn their hands. I don't see any mulligans just yet. Are we going to get a, get a clean game? I think both players are still pondering their dis yeah. about the decision. Nicola has yeah, lands. I think he has plenty of lands. Yeah, Chandra. Chandra. Yeah, I think he has a Gruul Guild Gate and uh, a bunch of basics. And Ch uh, he also has a uh, uh, Goblin Chain Ruler. And it's Patrick has two lands only. Yeah, and, and both Glacial yeah, Fortress. No black mana for Thought Erasure. He has Dovin, which is nice in the early turns. He has Narset, which he can cast, so... If he if he has the third land though, because it doesn't mm. seem that way. He's on the draw. This is a very risky keep if he if he goes for it. Yeah. He has all the tools to stabilize. He has yeah, ritual he, he of just needs Kai's wrath. He needs the black source. He right. needs the watery grave of, uh, of the tub, and I, I'm not sure if he can rely on getting it. Could also be a godless shrine on top, mm. which would also uh, be nice. Yeah, he's on a draw, and he's like, it's not like he. 
He has light. Uh, yeah. He mulligans. I think it's the right call. I yeah. don't think he can rely on on this hand doing anything. He needs yeah. some more early interaction. You would be inclined to like, oh my god, I lost the first game. Took a mulligan to five. Yeah. The hand looks okay, but <laughs> you have to take the decision. Like, forget about the first game. Yeah. Make the right call this game. All right. Questions. Uh, so Dekov asked. Uh, where do they are there deck lists anywhere? So I think they they should be on your Twitch stream if you're on the desktop at least maybe even on on the app. If you don't see it, try to re uh, uh, reboot, refresh, yep. refresh the stream, and it should pop up at least for these deck lists. And if not, they're going to be published on the Spiel Realm website, so so Spiel Realm dot co dot at, mm -hmm. and then you just look for the articles. And there's I think it's on yeah. the top. Uh, you can find the coverage. Um, which app do you use for the life counter? Do you know? What the name for of the app <laughs> is for the life? That's a good question. We will ask Patrick the next time he's around. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure he'll know. Uh, and there's plenty of life, uh, uh, life apps. And looks like yeah, Patrick kept the six and uh, bottom, and it's called Magic Life Counter. Wow. Yeah, it's it's a uh, the one with the red dice. It's very creative name. So <laughs> there you go. Uh, there you go. Grimblade two. So if you want to, it's it's on Android. So maybe even on iOS, you can you can probably look it up. All right, uh, hello, fun swamp for uh, for Patrick. No, no threats from Nicola just yet. I think we might think see a chain warrior. Yeah, I see a Dovin. Uh, I think Oath of Kaya and uh, Teferi, mm -hmm, the okay, big nice. one in his hand, yeah. and plenty of lands. So yeah, there's a Tibble though from Nicola. Let's see if if he plays chain warrior or if he plays the Tibalt first. I mean, chain warrior is more damage. He also has Gruul spell spellbreaker. A lot of decisions here. Yeah, lots of that happens when you have so many good cards. <laughs> Not when you actually have spells you can cast, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Not only the mana. Goes for the spellbreaker, makes it four four. But this might be a time for, for the Dovin yeah. to make to, to come down to at least start to gain some time. I think Patrick might have entered the God Eternals in his hand as well. So he's gonna uh, yeah. The <laughs> make the spellbreaker like not do anything. So yeah. go, go to sleep for a turn. Such such a nice card, Dovin. I it it's very understated, but I actually quite like it as well. I like the fact that it's it was randomly good like, against like Simic Nexus and Esper mm -hmm. Control, making everything more expensive. But it's he not. have found a Grove Chamber Guardian. But he's going to play the Chandra here, yeah. I think. And just try to start to go for the advantage, even though I don't quite like this plan. I mean, it's fine. But uh, we'll see how it matches up against what uh, Patrick is doing. Wow, Speaking of which, yeah, <laughs> Elder Spell. He has Elder Spell in hand with the fairy. He's got to be start thinking, okay, how do I Ooh. draw this up? Pays two life for the Goddess Shrine. Mm -hmm. It's going to be Elder Spell already and put some counters on Dovin. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no hesitation. So he's going to go up to six and now to five. Ooh, I like this. Wow. And now next turn he has the he has the big Teferi. If uh, if Nicola just goes for one big threat, uh, Patrick yeah, could maybe has the answer uh, again. Well, has the answer again. Yeah, he also has answered the God Eternal. So if he again, if it's a sp Guru Spellbreaker for uh, without haste, it has it haste has now. Missed, yeah. Good call here. Yeah. No fifth land for Nicola, so no threat of. Uh, Ooh, wow. Liliana. Ooh, this is <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this okay. is difficult. This is very very difficult. This is not a oh my god I'm under pressure. This is an I have all the tools. Yeah, he How he do I use them to exactly, win this game? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, uh, I think it would. <laughs> this is so difficult. You're right. Um, I think the one of the mm, no, I I don't know what's the best uh, best line of play here. Uh, it could be Teferi Tag, it could be Enter the Gartons, uh get a 4-4, four, four. yeah, so he tries to go for it here, gains 4 life, it's going to give him enough of a buffer, mill him, okay, finds just a Domri Chaos Bringer and 3 lands, but I mean the lands are, it's something that Nicola probably wants, and since Nicola did not play uh, at the Tibbled earlier, the, the 4 life game is actually quite relevant, mm -hmm. the life totals have not been updated, uh, how nice of him. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, doesn't doesn't use the Dovin. So he's there is a fifth land though for for Nicola Palmier. We haven't seen the content of his hand, so I'm now very curious to see what he what he's going to come up. Does he have a Skargan Hellkite? Okay, interesting. Okay, Sh uh, Chain Wall. Oh, Chain Wall. Chain Wall for sure. Yeah. yeah, it makes sense. He can play Chain Wall and Crawl Harpooner to keep up the pressure. Yep. So there's the 
There it is, Chain Ruler. But Patrick is fine with this because, as we know, he has Liliana in if, hand. Yeah, if he now draws the land and plays Liliana minus, this yep. game might just like be over. <sighs> and another Teferi. So close. What now, though? What now? He has the Oath mm. of Kaya. He has the Oath of Kaya to take out one threat. Yeah. He also has Teferi and plenty of life to work with. I, I mean, mean, he has two Teferis. He could just play one. Yeah. And Maybe even it. draw a card, yeah. yeah. Plus it and try uh, try to have it absorb absorb all the damage. Definitely a line's possible, but then the the problem it kind of becomes that the Liliana's not gonna be that great on the following mm. turn because if, if especially if Nicola plays a creature and uh it's gonna be problematic for, for Patrick to really leverage the, the Liliana efficiently on the following turns if Nico has has more gas. We know the, he is still Tybalt, and but just one more card. He's, I think he might be a growth chamber guardian. I think it is. Yeah. I think I saw him draw it like two turns before. Right. Okay, goes for the, goes for the removal spell, mm -hmm. gains some life. Yeah, more against a lot of life. So and now if the Crawler Pruner attacks the Dovin, then he's gonna gain some more life because of Oath of Kaya's trigger. Yep. Yeah, takes out trigger. the Dovin. Trigger, trigger, trigger. <laughs> yeah, 26, 18. And okay, I think now it's even better to, to, to play the Teferi. We'll see if he finds something good. Just a land for Nicola, though. So, Rochay, Govern, and Tybalt. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, or one more redraw. Okay, now now a land for Patrick, and it, it should be over. Yeah. I think if, if it comes even down... I mean, the new Tibble is great, but he Oof. can't beat Liliana. It is yep, the land. There it is. Isolated there Chapel. It is. Liliana Dreadhorde General. Minus that. Great. That's huge. Yeah, yeah huge. Nicola goes. Sure. Go, f go find go the Grouching Guardian. But now, I mean, if the Dreadhorde General, the Liliana, stays on the battlefield now, it's uh, whew, it's going to be tough for, for Nicola just because the, the card advantage yep. is just going to keep rolling and uh, the creatures will be annoying no matter what they are. And even if Nicola goes to play a Grow so Chamber he Guardian, needs a haste creature now. Yes, he really, really would need a, uh, a creature now. Scargon Hellkite, Gruul Spellbreaker, and it's just a land. A land. Wow. Ooh. I mean, Tybalt still it can be annoying, but after all of this life has been already gained, yeah. it's it's mainly a hedge against the Oath of Kaya. He okay, so he's uh, gonna play the Grow Chamber Guardian. He's gonna yeah. find a, another one, and then I, I think he's gonna play it right away. Yeah, was just uh, like uh, making sure all his lands were tapped mm -hmm. in the right order. Yep. Let's see. Is it Ixalan's, Ixalan's binding? binding? Yes, it is. So even if Nikola finds like a haste threat in form of um, the Hellkite or some kind of planeswalker, Patrick mm -hmm. now has the answer to it, and any potential um, future threats of that kind. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, sorry. Hi. Uh, in the chat, I see uh, Valor J. Are the final standings after the last round anywhere? Yes, they are. Spielraum.co.at. Uh, you should find the link to the coverage there, and it has standings for all the rounds. So not just the final standings after each round. If you're if you're interested in that. All right. Now we saw it's a fairy minusing to get rid of the one of the Grove Chamber Guardians, but at least tucking it for a turn. Make a zombie with a Liliana. And now Nicola has it all to do here. And of course, draw step was a land again. Of course. <laughs> Unfortunate for for Nicola there. Th there's the Tybalt, a bit a bit too late. Not sure how impactful he w uh, it would have been anyway. But he's going to stop the the life gain from the oath of Kaya. But I think now Patrick can really um, can really leverage uh, his his board presence. Start drawing cards with Teferi. He uh, he also has the the binding if he really needs to. Against maybe something like the Hellkite or the, or the Rickinling Phoenix, any of these sorts of cards. Go Trader Guardians coming in. Uh, of course. Take two from the Oath of Kaya. Yep. 16. No life gain and just a block. Of course, the block. And, and of course, the. Yeah. Nothing surprising here. Yeah. Draws a card. Thought Erasure. That's going to take care of the Grow Chamber Guardian from Nicola's hand. Although I think he has one more land in hand. He's gonna might think he's gonna play it? Might be able to deploy it immediately. Yeah, if it yeah, yeah. he's gonna play it right away. Alright, so Kaya's Wrath now <laughs> 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 to clear the board. It does get two draws, right? So What was that? that? Moment, Moment of Craving. Moment of Craving, okay. Not bad. 
though Tibble does stop the life gain again. Yeah. And it does, well. does kill a creature. <laughs> All right. So Tiferi ticks up, finds an Arces. So many options. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, at, at this point, Patrick could also, like, uh, Ixlan's binding away the Tibble mm -hmm. to turn on the life gain again uh, for Moment of Craving. But he's uh, kind of looking, reading. He, again, we feel like we've been here before, right? We've yeah. watched Patrick over the tournament because he was 6 and 0, so we watched him play a little bit. Again, it feels like it's the game is his to lose, right? He has exactly. all the tools he needs to win this game, he just has to figure out the, the right uh, lines of play to get there. Exactly. Nicholas just sitting there, drawing one card per turn, mm -hmm. maybe flashing a haste creature at Patrick and see if he has like an answer, but mm -hmm. other than that, he's just a spectator. Yeah, pretty Just much. like we are. Yeah, so now the Excellence Bind takes care of the Growth Chamber Guardian. There's a, a, the 2-2 the two -two Zombie, and also untaps two lands thanks to the thanks to the Teferi. Uh, and he might even play the Moment Craving still in his turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in his end step, he's going to kill uh, the Growth Chamber Guardian. Uh, what are you doing? No, nothing. There's still the Tibold in play, so you shouldn't gain any life. Um, uh, and another <laughs> land. I think wow. yeah, this <laughs> game's probably over again. Nicola just drawing a couple too many. That's but that's one of the problems with the Gruul decks, right? I mean, yeah. they they have no good ways to use their extra mana in the late game. They really rely on like curving out well, and like the curve when they do curve out, it's really powerful. But yeah, yeah, he drew his Grove Chamber Guardians, but again, they're not that threatening once your opponent has two planes focus into play. Exactly, play and, and, and Kaya's Red is really yep. speaking of which, <laughs> he just drew a Kaya's Red. Kaya's Red is just really good against Gruul in general, and something that maybe the, the Jeskai Super Friends doesn't have access to, mm -hmm. where they can play 4-4 four, four, uh, the Gruul's spell breakers, and yeah, it, it's, and it's almost much harder yeah. Yeah, to deal with compared to something like Kaya's Red, and that really kills everything. He never drew any Rick and Link Phoenixes, and even in the, this game, uh, yeah, he has four of those. He brought in some Legion Warbuses. And, and there's the handshake. handshake. Patrick Smatana moves on to the semi finals he's gonna uh, play against Amir Okic in the in the semi-finals yeah and we actually have uh, the winners of all the all the top eight um, matches hey, as we as back. we join as you join us in the Spiel Realm backstage booth so Patrick Smatana defeats Nicola Palmieri he's gonna play against Amir Okic mm -hmm. who defeated Fabian Lackner so that's gonna be Esper Super Friends against Jeskai Super Friends a lot of planeswalkers battling there. Yep, a lot of planeswalkers battling there. In the battle of the planeswalker on the other side of the bracket, it was actually, again, Esper Super Friends uh, mm -hmm. winning. Uh, uh, it was Adrian Strength defeating uh, Ricardo da Silva, so, and he's going to play against Four Color Dreadhorde. And if I, if I think, if, the, if we're going by the matchups and how mm -hmm. they played out, we might actually be uh, seeing an Esper Super Friends final. I wouldn't be surprised. That would, that would be quite nice. It would be interesting to but see. I still oh, okay. won one. Woo. Okay, so we're getting some new information. Uh, a new information all the time. So uh, we got a wrong sheet of paper. <laughs> whoever, whoever gave me this, get out of here. <laughs> so it's still a head judge. The head judge. Wow. Head judge. You know, judge. You know, uh, should we like? What are the judges? Oh, they're, they're judge because they don't know how to play. Exactly. You know, the usual. <laughs> <laughs> you know, on on the Wizards of the Coast stream, I would never be able to say this. But so here you can. I You're can, allowed I, to. I can really unwind. <laughs> to be fair, I, I'm allowed to because I know the head judge. He's, he's <laughs> a good friend of mine, so he knows that I can joke about him, and uh, he's a, he's a great yeah. guy. Krieg is really a great guy. Yeah, yeah. Well, Christian Gavrilovic, you've probably seen him around. He's been uh, he's been playing forever. Yeah. I, I still remember him popping down to our Bratislava shop back in two thousand three or four. Yeah, he's he he's arranging magic tournaments way before Spielraum ever was a thing and right. we're here for over ten years, so So but if if uh, they're still playing on the one of the tables, maybe we could all already watch the semifinals on the on the top side, uh, Smatana Okic. Yes. Yeah. Of course, we want more magic. We, we, we just want magic. <laughs> Show us some <laughs> games, Patrick. <laughs> Please. Uh, one life point and two life points. Uh, the last one. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So the last match... The last match that we're waiting for, actually, like the reason why why the hedges total is over, but it, because it seemed like it was over, because the life totals are actually one to two, one so. to two. So <laughs> the judge assumed like it's probably a bit lower. So it's uh, I don't think it's going to take much long, even though it's like super friends yeah. facing off against each other. But if the life totals are this close, we might wait a little bit. And then it's already is it done? Yeah, 
Shrink okay. won anyway. So, so the information was correct right it from the start. <laughs> it, it was just it was correct right from the start, but it was just related us to us one minute too early. It happens. It happens. Oh well. So. Uh, sure. Sure. Show us. The, yeah. Show us Dreadhorde. It's a different deck. Show us Dreadhorde. Okay. So we're gonna get Shrink against Schwarz. All the sh. The sh 